Hi everyone. In today's lesson, we are looking at the difference between the void agreement and voidable contract. So, void agreements are those agreements which are not enforceable by the court of law as they are void ab initio. Void ab initio means void from the very beginning. Means the very moment to enter into it, it will be considered as void and will not be considered by the court of law. For example, if you make an agreement with a minor or a person of unsound mind, such agreement will be considered as void agreement. There is a point to note that a void agreement can never become a contract at all because it does not satisfy the essentials of the valid contract. On the other hand. Voidable contract is a contract which is valid when it is made, as they are not void at the very beginning, and it remains valid till it is cancelled by the aggrieved party. Now, aggrieved party is the party who has incurred the loss. For example, if A has forced B to enter into a contract by threatening him, and B does not tell this to anyone, then that contract will be valid. But if B goes to the court and says that A had forced him. To enter into the contract by threatening him, so in this case the contract can be cancelled. So remember, void agreements are void ab initio, while voidable contracts become void at the option of one party. Second is the element which makes an agreement void or a contract voidable. So a void agreement lacks legal enforceability right from the start of entering into it. Due to its nature or object being unlawful or against public policy, so despite having free consent, it lacks the other essential elements of a valid contract. On the other hand, a contract can be voidable due to coercion, misrepresentation, fraud, undue influences, or the involvement of a party lacking capacity. Means the free consent is missing in such contracts, which is the essential element of a valid contract. A third one is damages. You can not claim damages in void agreement as it is not enforceable by the court of law. But in case of voidable contract, the aggrieved party can claim damages. Now the fourth difference is that anything obtained under a void agreement cannot be validly transferred to a third party. But in case of voidable contract, a third party who purchases goods in good faith. And for consideration before the contract is repudiated, acquires title to those goods. Now the fifth difference is that after the expiry of a reasonable time, a void agreement cannot become a valid contract. But after the lapse of reasonable time, a voidable contract can become a valid contract if a grieved party do not repudiate the contract. 